We wish we'd found it earlier, but as soon as we found St. Paul's, we were delighted for them both to join, my son and daughter, because they found wonderful training and also wonderful friendships at St. Paul's. Any children's choir experience can be wonderful, but this one in particular with its focus on theory and sight singing is very important for children. I think for me, the most important thing though is the exposure to this exquisite repertoire. It's just, my daughter now loves this music and it's, it's gorgeous music. It's beyond the kind of music she would sing in any other group and it's spiritual uh, as well. They're singing Baroque, classical, romantic, even 20th century music at a level that really is professional. I will say as a musician that I knew that when my kids were ready to begin their own musical studies, this was the place I wanted to bring them. I knew from my colleagues who have brought their children here and friends who I knew had their children here, I knew this was the place I wanted my children to learn about music. St. Paul's has been truly a magical impact on our children's musical development. Um, I often tell my friends that this choir is like Hogwarts for music. Uh, Dumbledore opens up the first Harry Potter book saying, Ah, music, a magic far beyond what we do here. And we found that to be true for St. Paul's. Instead of taking Herbology and the other classes they take at, uh, at Hogwarts, our kids here, they learn all about the foundations of music. They learn about theory, they learn about pitch, they learn about how to blend with others uh, and rhythm. Their musicality has just far surpassed what we've expected. They can hardly wait for choir. When the summer is over, they're ready to go, come back to choir. In order to balance the commitment to the choir, we usually we can carpool with other parents. We have the, mo the children over to our homes. We have them to dinner. We, we balance each other out and, and, and kind of have each other's back, so to speak. My sons and I will walk about three miles each way. Uh, we, they love it. We enjoy walking and spending time together, and so it's a chance for me to bond with my children while I'm, carpool, while I'm commuting. They love coming here, and, and so we make time for it. We actually have a, a very long commute. We commute from West Virginia. We come in two times a week, um, but the education they are receiving here, the musical education they are receiving, and the community in which they are participating makes it well worth our time to carve out this extra time to do the commute and get them here. It's a good hour and a quarter or hour and a half away each way. This isn't just a choir. This is a high quality musical education and it's, it's worth every minute on the road. Sometimes we'll meet people at museums or uh, for, for day trips, field trips, uh, restaurants. So it's, it's very informal but uh, it, it happens and we're always excited to go to the next party. And they can be in line, ready to come into the chapel discussing baseball cards, or they can be discussing the proper pitches. And just the interaction on so many different levels is something they appreciate. And here in this chorus, the kids of all ages, from the very youngest to the very oldest, mix together both socially and, and in ways where they mentor one another. It's really been amazing the way the kids have gotten to mix with boys, girls of all ages. We had just done some of the snow sledding or, or sledding that they have at the zoo lights. The children began to sing Christmas carols and it wasn't good enough for them just to sing the melody of the Christmas carol. They decided they had to sing the Christmas carol in four part harmony. And it was just such a joy to walk through the National Zoo as the children in front of us were singing four part harmony, O Come All Ye Faithful. There's diversity among the choir parents at St. Paul's, um, and, but I think the most important thing is that even though there is diversity, there's a great sense of togetherness, of union, of all of us uh, to have fun, to also um, support the children in their challenges. We are all uh, very different, which we enjoy and we embrace, and it's always such a pleasure when we have a new parent come in and we have a new person that we get to know, and. I was very happy when I found out about St. Paul's because it was a taste of my country, England, that they could share in Washington, D.C. Even though St. Paul's is an Episcopal church, have I found space for the traditions of my own faith? Yes, uh, I'm a Mennonite pastor 
And so there's been a lot of chances for them to learn about other faiths. My family lives in the inner city. Others uh, in more rural areas. Some of us homeschool, like my family. Others are involved in, in a wide variety of other types of schooling. Um, but one thing that we all have in common is that we all ha really care deeply about our children and their, and their respectful behavior inside the church and towards each other. And we've been impressed by the fact we've never experienced bullying from other children towards our children. We are Episcopalian in a little bit different of a, of a service style, but we also appreciate what they have here and it allows the children to see a whole new way of worshiping that, that I think is really valuable. We come from a Presbyterian background, very theological, but the worship style is very different. We've been very welcomed here to learn what this tradition is like, and we've really enjoyed getting to see a tradition that's so rooted in history, so focused on being able to worship the way that Christians have worshiped not only for centuries, but even millennia. Being a chorister has greatly helped develop my children's faith. They are learning the Psalms. They are, are memorizing Psalms. They are memorizing scriptural passages just from the anthems. I think my, my children are both much more excited about scripture, excited about uh, learning the roots of the Latin songs they're singing. And around the house, he'll be singing uh, songs of praise to the Lord. And so I just am amazed at how he uh, has taken a, a a step away from just looking at the social interaction and the playtime, and now he just enjoys the purpose of what he's doing. And they know the Psalms now, and that's a wonderful thing for our family. They are all here out of their love of the music, and there is a certain joy and a certain um, appreciation and love of the music that, that the children have, and it renews me and reminds me of why I got into this field and why I love what I do. And I've been amazed at how the music directors are teaching them how to apply faith to their lives, not only just teaching them how to sing well. I hope Gloria, my daughter, learns the joy of music. I want them to learn dedication and commitment and the ability to follow through with an activity. The most important life lesson I would like my children to learn as a chorister is to have respect in the house of God. To be a good leader, to take responsibility for the younger children, and to help them to learn alongside. I want my kids to learn to be selfless, to take the attention off of themselves and put it onto others and onto God.